Alright guys, well I feel really ashamed of myself right now because I woke up uh, an hour, almost oh, over an hour ago and I was getting ready, getting hyped up, clearing off the car. I was driving here and I was trying to vlog and I couldn't figure out why my camera won't turn on. So now I'm here and I didn't have a battery in the GoPro. It's fine, it's fine, because you know why? It's a powder day, baby. Look at all that fresh white snow in the, it's dumping too, so it's still snowing. So yeah, we are at White Tail today for an insane powder day, guys. We're supposed to be getting, I think, five inches of snow today, and I think it just started at 2 a.m., so it's been going for at least five hours now. Um, it was snowing at my house, and it looked like it snowed uh, an inch. So we're definitely getting a lot more snow today. Uh, very excited. Uh, most of the mountain is open now, um, so we should be getting a lot of good runs in. I actually did come here about a month ago during Christmas, uh, two times. Uh, one on opening day and one on Christmas Eve, just to get some practice laps and then vlog it or anything. I actually did go to the terrain park that they had, the hike up terrain park. I'll put a couple of clips up now. It's nothing too special, but I did do my first 50-50, so that's pretty cool. Check it out. Going for it? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yes! Yeah, so <laughs> we're stuck in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready because a whole lot of cars are pouring in and I'm not getting out and everyone else is, so I gotta, I gotta get going. Get these skis on back here. Let's have a stoked day, let's go! Okay guys, so, um, as you see I just got dressed. Um, they are currently snowmaking right now, and it's like a really beautiful sound. But from what I know, we have two double blacks, one black diamond open, uh, three blues, and like all the greens. Um, should have to be a good day. So, uh, alright guys, so something I also didn't know is up there, they finally have the terrain park open. So maybe we can get a couple of features up there. Um, but I'm just going to go on this green show for warm-up, and then go up all up the mountain. So, I'll start ripping. my first two runs and so far it's doing really well uh, actually three uh, I went down the green show for a warm-up fanciful and ended up in home run for my third and second run the powder is great Fanciful has the best run so far the crowds haven't showed up yet but the people are building up and so are the lines um so I'm gonna go down the other trail and see if we hit the diamonds and see how that goes I'm really excited for that so but we're stoking today <laughs> Alright guys, so as you just saw, I went down the double black diamond um, right now. I'm going up the expert chair. Uh, so this is very advanced terrain I'm gonna go into. So please pray for me. We got one black, one double black up there. It's gonna be an amazing time. So I'm ready. There's snow making on this one. This one's the mogul field. 
Or it's not up. We'll go to that one over there. So we did. We're doing great so far. So yeah, let's do it. So it's probably been a couple of hours. Uh, my GoPro up here uh, died. Uh, so, I had, uh, so I had to ski for a couple of hours without it on. Uh, so I did put a new battery in. Hopefully I can get footage of this black diamond over here. It's always been like, cutting out. Uh, so hopefully I can get this time. Thank you Jesus, I will. Thank you Jesus. Oh yeah, there's been great so far. The ice is manageable. Still there, but it's not bad. Uh, the powder mogos are forming. It's gonna, it's gonna go to be a great afternoon. Oh uh, yeah, I'll check with you all. After I get all the footage I get. <laughs> Drop later of Angel Drop later. I am now back on the expert choice lift. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go down the double black diamond bullet decision. So whew. I'm just gonna show you the full clip because it's good, it's gonna be a fun one. All right, here we go. Double black. No ice. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I get this. Okay. <sighs> Alright guys, well I did the, uh, the double black diamond bull decision. Won't be doing that again for a very long time. Uh, the video cut out about like halfway through the trail, but I probably fell down about 10 times. It was pretty bad, it was very icy. So I just went down far side, full mount, and I'm about to go up these uh, green trails just so I can get footage of them, that's it. And then I'm gonna go home, tune these skis, and then come back for some night skiing, guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, so I just got done with the last run of this session. Uh, so I am currently heading home, which is the really cool thing about Whitetail being my home resort, is I live 40 minutes away. So if I wanna take a break, I don't have to go to the lodge. If I wanna eat lunch, I don't have to go to the lodge. I can just come back home, rest, take a nap, do whatever. Um, my skis, I'm probably going to tune them. Um, I know for a fact that I'm going to uh, just clean up the base a little bit. Uh, as far as tuning them, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to take a closer look when I get home. Uh, I just know I, I do need to do a lot of base maintenance, maintenance with those, especially with the day I've been having. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get some lunch, get some grub, take care of the skis, maybe take a nap. Do whatever, we'll come back for some night skiing later on today. So, let's get it. 
All right, guys, I just finished eating lunch and I'm now gonna go ahead and take a look at my skis and see what damage has been done. Actually, it doesn't look like anything's happened. I definitely know I have some rust. Yeah, I got a big rust spot right here. Um, probably some in the back. Actually, no, what? Well, yeah, it's just on the tips. Also, don't ask why I'm doing this on my bed. Um, it's just easy. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything on this one either. Oh, okay, yeah, on this side. Alright, let's flip over this. And let's get the buffing those out. Okay, so now that I have my edges buffed out, what I'm gonna do now is clean my bases back up so that when I go back for night skiing they'll be gliding perfectly and a little little preface to how my skis work is I don't use wax I don't wax my skis because when I bought these online what I did was I had well I basically had them get a base treatment done where they put some phantom glide on it and what it does is it like this liquid it just bonds with the base or whatever and you can glide forever, it's no wax, no nothing. Um, but you do need to do more base maintenance than you usually would on it. So basically every time, after every time I go skiing, what I do is I polish the base up so it glides nice, nice, that's it. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I'll show you all the process of how I do that. Um, if you would like some Phantom Glide, just go to the website and buy some. It's pretty expensive, but I think it's worth it. So let's do this. every time after I ski, especially with this phantom stuff, just clean the base and get the burrs out and just polish it up. So these are looking real nice now, so they should be good to go for tonight. Um, I made the decision I am not going to tune them because since there is powder and it's still kind of snowing outside, um, a sharper edge means it's gonna grab the snow a lot more. And since I'm already catching my edge a whole lot today, um, I'm not going to be doing that because, you know, the, the duller the edge, the better in powder, at least. When it comes to, when it comes to ice, you definitely want a very sharp edge, but, I mean, powders were all the danger is today as far as catching the edge. So, I'd rather slip on ice than catch more edges. So, yeah, I'm not going to tune the skis. I'm just going to pack these back up, put them back in the car. We'll be on our way. All right, guys, just like that, we are back and running. Got the skis back in the car with the the polished base. So I'm planning to get there ETA about uh, 4:10. Um, basically, Whitetail's doing this event called Do After Dark. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It just it, I think it's just party music and just a festival. Basically, an opera ski experience is what I'm understanding. Um, so I've never been to one before. So we're gonna just go see what it's all about and start shredding down the mountain. I'll see you all there. Oh.
All right, guys. So we uh, got a couple of, of night laps in so far. Uh, a whole lot of moguls and a whole lot of ice patches. Um, slipping and sliding is very common. All the moguls are just crazy. Some of them are like three feet tall. So right now, I am on the green runs. That's the easy rider over there, or the blue runs. Uh, there's a lot of, oh, dang. Uh, there's a lot of good jumps right below this left right here. So I'm gonna go hit some of these. And there's actually no moguls on these green runs. So that's why I've been hitting them, it's all powder. So I'm probably gonna hit these for the rest of time. I will go to the lodge to get my Mountain Dew free sample because it's free. So why not? <laughs> so yeah, let's get let's just these jumps. Right, guys that was a good last run of the night at whitetail in mercersburg pennsylvania um so it's snowing again <laughs> all right probably just a little snow squall but um yeah this was a really really fun day this resort is definitely towards more for the advanced skier um they do have a good beginners area um the beginner beginner terrain is perfect for new schoolers um, but as far as like the actual green trails go, they are a little bit more on the advanced side, especially Sidewinder. Um, so that's the really cool thing about Whitetail is I read that it's actually designed f as a progression layout. So you start over here and by the time you get good, you go over here. So it's green, blue, blacks, and double black. I did all those today, so I feel pretty proud of myself. Um, that double black though was pretty crazy, but one day we'll get to it. All right guys, so in the car now. Um, closing thoughts, uh, basically just everything I said while I was packing up. Uh, great resort for advanced skiers. Again, has a very, prog it's a progression layout. Um, it's very close to my home, so I'll probably be going here a lot more. Um, yeah, so today was very icy, dumping, and very powdery. So very mixed conditions. Um, man, I really wanna come back now. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We still got a lot more this winter, trust me, guys. Oh, uh, what we got? We got Liberty, Round Tops, Hidden Valley. We're gonna go back to Snowshoe and Wisp. Uh, either Bryce Resort or Bear Creek, I'm not sure. And then wherever else we can fit in. So yeah, this is gonna be a really awesome winter, guys. It already has been. Uh, from struggling on greens to doing double black diamonds. Who would've thought, who would've thought? Well, that is all I got for you guys today, and I will see you all later. Bye!